Law banning most abortions in South Carolina after around six weeks of pregnancy gets the green light, meaning it's now in effect. And the state's high court has just reversed course, deciding to allow the law after striking down a similar proposal earlier this year. WCNC Charlotte's Caitlin Hagwood has been following the case and has more on the court's decision and its implications. Supporters are calling the court's new decision a victory for life, but opponents say it will have devastating effects. In a four to one ruling, the new all male South Carolina Supreme Court chose to uphold the state's fetal heartbeat law. It's a big win for life. The law bans most abortions at about six weeks with limited exceptions for rape, incest, the patient's life and conditions that would lead to the death of an unborn child. Senate Majority Leader Shane Massey touted the court's decision as a victory. The problem before was that our law was significantly weaker than any other state in the region. Uh, but now that's not the case anymore. But opponents say it will have devastating effects effects on women in South Carolina and beyond. Children who have been raped and who don't know they're pregnant at 12 weeks because they don't know what that means, they will be denied care. The decision comes after the court struck down a similar law earlier this year, saying that law violated the state constitution. Since then, lawmakers, which have a Republican majority, adjusted the language and passed a new six-week ban they hoped would address the court's concerns. They also replaced the lone female on the court with a new male justice after she reached retirement age. Our clinics had to turn people away today while we try to fully understand the ban and its implications. This is devastating. Abortion is health care, and patients should have the right to access it close to their home from a provider they trust. In a statement, South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster called the court's ruling a historic moment in our state's history and the culmination of years of hard work and determination to ensure the sanctity of life. Following the court's decision, Planned Parenthood said they'll seek any legal avenue available to fight the ruling. Reporting in South Carolina, Kaylin Hagwood, WCMC Charlotte.